Hey guys, Joe Haney here at LMT, and uh, thank you for joining us on another episode of Talking Shop. So what we are going to do today is get into the venerable Mars H weapon system. We're going to talk a little bit about what the Mars H is, a little bit of history, um, what makes it different from other 308 AR style platforms in the market, and why you should consider it for your next weapon system. So hang with us for a second and we are going to get right into it. Alright guys, jumping right into it. The Mars H. Uh, what is it? So this is LMT's premier 308 or uh, big frame uh, rifle that we have in our catalog. Started life back in 2009 as a weapon system called the MWS. The MWS modular weapon system was originally adopted for the commercial market, law enforcement, and global militaries. Its first original deployment, it was in 2009 with the UK Ministry of Defense in a platform called the L129A1. That weapon system has since seen a lot of uh, action uh, in combat theaters across the globe and has really cut its teeth and put LMT on the map for making a really dependable, reliable, precision weapon system. So the Mars H is its big brother. Full ambidextrous controls, same monolithic upper receiver, just upgraded a little bit, uh, a couple different configurations, and um, some other important enhancements to make this a really powerful player in the industry uh, for the precision weapon systems or DMR sniper support roles. So uh, let's jump right in and talk about those features. All right, so the first thing that we're going to get into on the Mars H weapon system is the upper receiver. Now, you might be wondering, that looks a lot like the MRP or what the, uh, the monolithic upper that is on the Mars L. And you know what? You're very right. This is just the big brother. This is the MRP H um, standardized monolithic system that we have here at LMT. It uses the same type of lockup. Obviously, the 5.56 and 308 style barrels are not interchangeable between these weapon systems. But this uh, upper receiver comes with a host of different calibers that you can use. Um, 308, 65 Creed, more 243, 260 Remington are all just some of the examples of calibers that you can swap into this upper receiver. Um, just like the MRPL, uh, it is as simple as loosening that rear screw, completely removing the front screw altogether, and then grabbing your barrel. In this case, we have a 13.5 308. Align the gas tube up with the upper receiver. It'll drop right in. Put your front screw back in. Grab your T30 Torx and then just tighten that rear screw. Okay, That's all you've got to do to install your barrel in an MRPH. And also, just like on the uh, small frame gun that has options for different operating systems, so does the MRPH or the Mars H upper receiver. So we're going to pull our DI barrel out and we're going to replace it with this 16 inch piston barrel. It's also 308. This one um, is one of the units from the Estonian contract. You can tell by the bayonet lug on the bottom of the gas block. Place your screw. Good to go. Now, um, you will need to make some other changes to your weapon system when swapping these barrels. Going from a, uh, a DI barrel, direct impingement barrel, has a gas key on it. Uh, you'll have to remove your bolt from this system and then upgrade it to a piston carrier. So this piston carrier you can see does not have a gas key because there is no gas coming down a gas tube. It's just that piston op rod. So up here we have a flat tappet system on top of the carrier. So that's going to be one of the things you're going to need to change. Alright, when changing between calibers you might ask, what else do I need to do? That's the cool part. You don't need to do anything with the uh, LMT family of Mars H systems. 
uh, going from a 308 to let's say a 65 Creedmoor, you don't have to do anything other than um, change your barrel and your ammunition. Now, one thing we recommend doing is marking your magazines. You know, put a 6.5 on them, or uh, perhaps a rubber band or something that indicates a different caliber. What you don't want to do is have a mistake on the range where you load the wrong ammo into the wrong barrel. All right, continuing with the upper receiver uh, and discussing the monolithic receiver and why that might be important for you uh, opposed to other types of uh, upper receiver handguard combos in the market is its rigidity. You know, number one, um, this is going to be one of the strongest platforms on the market. If you are going to focus on using a laser for night vision or forward mounted uh, thermal clip-ons, uh, night vision clip-ons in front of an optic, um, or you're using a really large optic that has a taller mount or a longer mount that needs to bridge over what would traditionally be a gap in the handguard and upper receiver, monolithic's really gonna shine. Okay, so we have two different configurations of monolithic uh, Mars H receiver. So this is your standard right here. Uh, this is the, the standard length, the carbine length, if you will. Um, so we got our 16 inch barrel in here. This will accept the piston uh, as well as down to a 13 and a half inch barrel. Um, if you're going to move up, here is the long rail um, that we have. This is uh, now standard on the DMR system, the 20 inch barrels. So this has a little bit more real estate out here. It's uh, approximately three inches more rail. Um, that's gonna give you a longer sight radius. If you're an iron sight shooter, not many of us are anymore, but that extra real estate really does more for bipod placement, uh, real estate for larger clip-on devices, or if you're gonna run uh, those clip-on devices in combination with some sort of laser aiming device. So these long rail systems are now becoming the choice for your precision shooters. Additionally, um, you can fit a 16 inch barrel in it perfectly. So for those that want a low profile barrel system with your suppressor, but still maximize the re real estate on the handguard, this is gonna be your number one choice with the long rail system. All right guys, and then like we covered on the MRPL or the Mars L video, we talked about the fitment tabs. This upper receiver is no different. It does come with fitment tabs that you can adjust the tension on your lower receiver with the upper receiver to really fine tune that fit. Uh, what these do is they add a spring effect to the combination of the upper and lower. So you kind of have to squeeze them to get them closed. Uh, that makes for a nice tight fit between the upper and lower, which is something precision shooters like to have. Uh, when you look at a mil spec AR, they have really loose tolerances on that fit, and that can cause some wobble between the upper and lower. That's completely normal, and it doesn't really affect accuracy other than maybe a little bit of lock time between the trigger and the lower when it strikes the bolt carrier group. Precision shooters want to reduce that, but for your combat shooters, being able to easily and quickly open the receiver, you know, they might like to have that a little bit loose. That is an option for you as, a, as an MRP owner. You can go on our YouTube channel and there is a video on how to adjust these tabs. All right, guys, at the heart of the Mars H is, of course, the Mars lower. So this lower, just like the uh, Mars L, is full ambi. It has a lot of the same controls. They're all in the same place. It is AR spec uh, at the core. A couple features that are different about a, uh, the Mars H lower is the buffer tube. So the buffer tube is a little bit longer on the Mars H because of the longer carrier that is utilized in the upper receiver. Uh, for that, uh, we have a different spring. Same size buffers. Uh, these all come standard with H3 buffers. Um, the uh, all Mars H lowers now come factory with the axle family of triggers. You have the same bolt catch and release on both the left and right side, mag catch and release on both the left and right side, and of course the safety on both left and right side. Just like uh, other Mars receivers, you have ample QD points on both the left and right side as well as at the back of the receiver. There are two variations of the uh, complete Mars H lower that you are going to see in the catalog and on weapon systems. First, you've got your DMR. This is obviously going to come with the LMT DMR stock. 
this is a nice stock. It is very similar to others in the market uh, for precision shooters. The nice thing about this one is it does have gross and fine adjustments. So it's still using the seven position adjustable buffer tube that is on the standard lower, but it has a different type of retention system. So it still allows you to use those individual positions as well as being able to make the fine adjustments back here with the knobs on both the uh, length of pull and the cone. The other receiver you're gonna see is the standard. This one's gonna come with the uh, sop mod stock, still on that seven position tube. Both of them are dry film loop, just like on the Mars L. That's to add a little bit of lubricity to the stock over time. This one is outfitted in a select fire configuration, which is available for your law enforcement or military customers. Just like on the Mars L, the uh, axle is standard for these configurations. This one is also equipped with the Euro style uh, safety where it allows the hammer to be in the forward position when you put the weapon on safe. Your traditional AR is not going to be able to do this. So this is an advancement that LMT has made for its family of triggers to address the desire for a um, hammer forward safe in the global markets for militaries and uh, agencies across the world. Other features include that flared magwell, enhanced trigger guard, and the new Gen 2 overmold grip. This overmold grip uh, is shot counter ready. We have a system, basically you replace the, uh, the center core with a shot counter. Now that shot counter doesn't just keep track of rounds uh, that are fired in operation. It also keeps track of the time between the rounds. That time between the rounds is then calculated into a temperature, which can equate to barrel life. And then also downrange wear on uh, ancillary components like your operating spring or your, the springs in your ejector or extractor. So when paired with the home base system, this shot counter can develop an algorithm for maintenance. Uh, that is a big um, technology advancement that we have here at LMT for those larger agencies or uh, military units that want to assist their armor staff with uh, keeping their weapon systems up. All right, one of the common questions we get asked about the Mars H or the MWS weapon system is, where does its compatibility lie in the industry? Now, 308 ARs have never really seen a standardization throughout the years. Uh, that is because there are several different manufacturers that make them and they all make them a little bit different. Though there have been cases of 308 AR platforms or large frame ARs used in the U.S. military, they've never been adopted in such a manner that has required the TDP or technical data package to be released uh, to the wide variety of manufacturers for standardization. Therefore, um, there are a couple configurations or patterns that you'll see on the market. Uh, this is what is considered an SR25 pattern. Um, you can tell kind of by the slant back back here on the upper and lower receiver. Now, just because it kind of follows along that pattern does not mean that LMT guarantees compatibility with any other manufacturer's parts. This is a weapon system that really needs to remain true to LMT's uh, production standards and availability of parts. The monolithic receiver requires that you utilize only LMT barrels. All right guys, wrapping up here, the Mars H weapon system. It is a really well-built, well-engineered AR system for the large frame calibers that is going to fit a role, um, in this case of a patrol rifle, uh, DMR type rifle, sniper support weapon, or a standalone sniper rifle, depending on its configuration. With the LMT MRP and the Mars lower receiver, you can really fine tune how you build that weapon system. It's pretty common for our users to swap calibers in the field of operation, as well as their buttstock, uh, and really change the, the capabilities of the weapon system just with the components that they can carry in their equipment. Therefore, all the features combined in the Mars lower, the monolithic upper with its quick change barrel system, are really going to put the Mars H at the top of the industry uh, for your selection on your next you know, battle rifle or 
uh, sniper support weapon or a good long range precision shooter. So uh, thank you for taking time to talk to us today in this episode of Talk and Shop with LMT. We'll see you next time, guys.